on behalf of our director, Nido Nguyen, and all our staff at Sir Zaman Cohen Centre, um, we'd like to welcome you to Sir Zaman Cohen Centre and host International's World Refugee Day event. Tonight's really about raising awareness, and it's about starting conversations about the needs and the rights of refugees. Freedom, it's not escaping from one bad situation just to walk into another. It's really giving them the opportunities, the space to grow as people and to have a better f future. And so we, we're looking here tonight to facilitate, facilitate these conversations and engage in these connections and or with different organisations, with different individuals who have this kind of experience, this understanding and make a positive change. We are actually very happy that we would partner with the Sarah and Cohen Centre. David Keegan is the CEO and the founder of Host International. He's a social worker leader, social entrepreneur trainer, a manager and investor in good ideas. He has led small and large projects in refugee settlement, international protection, youth homeless and child protection throughout his 20 years career. Essentially there's 110 million of people that internationally have been forced to be displaced from their homes, of which 35 million have been assessed as a refugee by UNHCR. A lawyer by training, Mr Lam has worked with refugees in various operations in different countries, including the peoples of Republic of China, West Timor, Kosovo, Iran, Sierra Leone, Malaysia and UNSCR headquarters in Geneva. I think um, the, the first thing when, when you talk about finding freedom is, and probably the most important thing would be uh, access to services, access to asylum. And we spend so much try, time uh, negotiating to, to, to let, people, let people in uh, from the border area. And from there, there'll be many different ways of ensuring people would at least get access to services, you know, through documentation. So with that document, um, you know, they will, they, they, they will be safe and they, they will be able to keep their family together. Thank you for organizing this event. I think it's so important to have uh, this kind of conversation, uh, particularly on World Refugee Day and in Australia, it's World Refugee Week. Let's thank Najib for, for being with us tonight.